I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Moving Pictures. It's ages 8 and up, 2 players, and it takes 20 minutes. I'm primarily going to be using the original version of the game for the demonstration today, but I also have the Dinosaur Outbreak version as well, and I will be showing a few things from that, so let's get started. The goal of the game is to work together to play your cards out in numerical order over the course of three rounds. You're making a three act film and you're trying to do so uh, without making too many mistakes. There are two deleted scene cards that you get to use over the course of these three rounds. And if at the end when you've resolved all the actions, there's still one card or two cards not in the right spot, you can remove them, but you only get two of those over the course of three rounds. To begin for the first round, you decide who's going to go first and you deal, starting with them, you deal out um, three cards each player, and this matters more um, in the next round when there's an odd number of cards dealt out. So each player is just given three cards to start the first round, and then there are six cards dealt face down, and that's what you're playing onto. And there's an extra few cards that are not used this round. Do not look at them. Put them off to the side. And the players are not able to communicate or uh, show each other their cards, but I'm just going to flip them over. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration. And the key thing about these cards is some have uh, effects on them. There are these editing effects um, are at the end of the game. You resolve these. And then there are other effects that are when played, you perform the action. So when played or at the very end. So we'll say this player was supposed to go first. And sometimes it's a little tricky, especially with the super high and the super low cards. We'll have some tricky effects to resolve. This one says you must swap this card with a higher numbered card at, at the end. So we're just going to say, you know what? Let's place it over here because they don't know what they have, but they figure, okay, Whatever's going on here, they'll be able to swap it so they know to place a higher number card here because they can swap it. So based on that, uh, they might say, okay, well, that's pretty good. They could choose to play the 16 right now, but then all of the win played effects would not happen for the rest of the game. So they make it so it's a deterrent because otherwise it's really nice to bookend it and play your higher one and lower one. So they might play um, this 13, which is... You can swap this card with another card in the movie. Um, they're going to choose not to. It says you may, and it's when played. So they're just going to play it here and hope that later on they can swap these two. This person is going to play um, their 11, and this allows them to reveal the face down card in this space, and they can switch these cards if they want. The face down card is a three. And when played, you may move another card to an empty space. Um, so they can't, we'll go ahead and have them do this because we're going to have something go um, wrong. Um, you may, well, this is pretty tough. We're going to say, no, they're choosing not to do that because that's, that's pretty rough to have a three over here and have it work out. So then it's this person's turn. And this says, you must play this card um, directly to the left of another card. They are thrilled that this has been placed out because you can't place the one unless there's another card next to it. And then this 10, um, you may swap this card with a card directly to its right. They're just gonna put it here. And then finally they place this card. And so now you get to choose to resolve the actions. This is the editing phase. And a key part of the editing phase is you have to resolve these effects from the lowest to highest scene number, regardless of order. So it doesn't go, you don't go along here and say, okay, I'm gonna resolve this 10 and then choose to resolve the two later on. You find the lowest number, you've resolved the two. So we have to swap this with a higher number. Thank you, very happy to do so. And now they can choose the only other one that looks like this is the number 10. And it says you may swap this card with the card directly to the right. We don't want to, it's all in order. That was a very successful round. So that's all you do for the whole game. After this, you take all the cards. You made it through the first scene. You were great. There are different effects for some of the different numbers. But on the next round, you deal out 
seven cards face down. So the first player is going to get four cards and the other person's going to get three. You have to place all those successfully. And then the final round, each player gets four cards and you have all the rest eight out here and you have to get all of those in sequence. And if you wanna use the deleted scene, um, it's it's pretty simple what you do for that. If you have them out here, we'll say this is the first round. And, uh, okay, we've got five, six cards out here, sure. And it ends up where it's like, let's say it's like this at the end. All you have to do is you say, okay, well, we had it all in order except for this. So you just remove this and this, and then you would be successful with that round and keep on going and you just have one fewer of these to use in the future. Now, the only differences if you're doing uh, the dinosaur outbreak is the cards have different effects and things you can do with them. And the deleted scene cards, one is specifically for cards numbered one through eight, and the other one is for cards numbered nine through 16. So that's a little more tricky. And you can combine the two decks if you like. You just have to make sure there's only one of each number from one to 16. So you'd only play with one of these number 13 cards between the two decks, but just combine them however you like. And you have a fresh mix of abilities and cards to use, and you can play around. So that's how to play Moving Pictures. The target demographic for this game is a uh, co-op gamer that is looking for an easy, portable, and fun game to bring along with them. Wherever they wanna go, this fits the bill. Uh, the rule complexity is low. Uh, however, you really have some tricky decisions at, upon occasion. And some of the cards, especially the ones that require you to move them after they've been placed, can be really tricky. And so it's, it's easy to get the basics down, but to play it well uh, can, can be um, just the right level of challenging. Uh, how competitive is this game? It is cooperative and yet challenging. I like that you can kind of uh, level out what, what your goal is. Our, our holy grail is going where we don't have to do any edits and we just get everything in the right spot every time. But you still feel successful if you're able to complete uh, the three rounds of play with just one or two edits. Uh, so it's it's nice. There are different levels of um, intensity for playing this game. The replay value is medium because this isn't the type of game that you just, it's your go-to every Friday night game to play, it seems like. However, it is our go-to game for whenever we're going on a trip and we're going to, going to be on an airplane. Or if it's uh, we're going out to eat and need an easy but fun little restaurant game, this is one of the games that just ends up getting grabbed a lot. So it is, it is one that just gets a very consistent level of play, it feels like. Similar games, if you like this one, um, Button Shy, the same board game manufacturing company, also has Skulls of Sudluck, which is a favorite of ours. It's a competitive, but you were trying to place uh, your cards in the graveyard for maximum points. And then um, another great co-op game option that small box is Bandito. You need to uh, stop the bandit from tunneling out of his prison and work together to do it. And it's awesome. So, uh, but that's it for moving pictures. We love this one. We play it all the time. So you should check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.